G'day guys and welcome back to another adventure. Uh, the other day I was actually got the metal detector out the front yard. That's something I've never done before and see if I could find anything. I ended up finding an old coin, a 1967 five cent piece. And uh, I had an idea that uh, I'm gonna get out and go for a massive hike with Charlie the Digging Dog and uh, just take the metal detector with me and hit up some old parks, go through, see what I can find. I just uh, need to be a bit more active. <laughs> Starting to get beak ups. All right, let's go. All right, so here's what I found in the garden the other day. This little button, one of those Aldi coin things. A lot of beer caps, battery, the five cent piece I was talking about earlier. And here's the gear I'm taking with me, the GoFind 22. It can just fold up and go straight in my backpack. Uh, this is a digging tool by Tiger, an Australian brand, and a pin, the pinpointer. So that's all I'm gonna take with me. And this little guy. Of course I'm gonna take this little guy, the digging dog. Alright, we're somewhat close to the first park that I'm going to try and hit up. I've put a few K in already. Um, I've just got you guys strapped to my backpack. And uh, obviously if there is a family or anyone at the park, then uh, obviously I won't be digging it. <laughs> but uh, we'll see how we go, you never know. Alright, there is no real plan of where I want to end up and where I'm going today, so I'm just Christopher walking. Okay, moment of truth. Is there anyone at the park? Yes, damn it. All right, the show goes on. Obviously there was someone at that park, so I can always come back to it and hit it on the way home. So we'll do that when we come back. Now this video is gonna have a mix of GoPro footage, as you can see on my shoulder there, and uh, my phone. So bear with me, my hand's kind of full today with the detector and the digging dog here. So hopefully it comes out all right. Now I believe this area is called Central Park in Greensboro. And uh, there are a few little playgrounds scattered around here. So couldn't be any more perfect really. We'll give it a crack, see how we come up. Sorry if this is a bit shaky here. As I said, you're on my, on my backpack. And look at this bench. It's like it was made for metal detecting. I can put all my gear on it, perfect. Well, there is this like playground area over here. It's full of tan bark which could hold a few coins, so no one's here, give it a crack. Just got my first target of the day, right here, 50 cents, <laughs> 2006, 50 cents. So it goes into the beer fund. There we go again, see what we got. And without even having to dig, the signal right there. Look out, Charlie. There it is, two bucks. What year is it? 1999, $2 coin, straight to the beer fund. All right, so $2.50 at the first park. Pretty good, great timing too, because right as I picked up that $2 coin, a few families came over and uh, wanted to play in the park. So of course I packed up and left. So $2.50 straight to the beer fund. <laughs> All right, we've got another park. This is actually a tennis club. Obviously during the COVID times hasn't been used. So uh, hopefully no one rocks up here, wants to play, and I can find all the coins. Charlie's helping out. Huh? What's that? Just got a reading there for a coin, but sounds down. I'm actually wondering if it's picking up that pole. Just around the pinpointer, and I think it is picking up the poles. So something to be wary of. Okay, another reading here. Oops, definitely finding something there. Get the pinpointer. Oh, there it is. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> it's another one of those Aldi shopping trolley coin things. <laughs> Second I've found in a matter of days. Alright, look out, Charlie. There's something here. Oh, there we go. What do we got? Oh man, it's like part of a uh, like cabling that for like a TV or something like that. Trash. All right, sadly no coins with that one. What can you do? Just found that weird little LD token that you used to get the shopping trolleys out. What can you do? You win some, you lose some. Uh, I was getting quite a few signals, but I think the thing to be wary of is uh, when you're like at the playground that. <laughs> The poles are going to pick up on the um, on the detector, so 
Oh well, we keep walking. Just having a close look at this piece I've found. She says NBN on it, so I'm wondering if it's part of an internet modem. I just came across an absolute monster playground. Sadly, it's chocked full of people. As you can imagine on a day like today, it's beautiful. Now there is one more park up here, which I'm gonna try and hit. Hopefully it has no one in it. It's sort of hidden in a side street, so we might have some luck. All right, just coming up on the playground now. And what are the odds of someone being here? I've never seen anyone ever at this playground. <laughs> but we get there and there's some emo sitting there. All right, approaching the playground. There we go, Charlie needs a rest. And empty. Yeehaw. For some reason I don't like my chances at this park. I don't know why, but obviously the town bark hasn't been replaced here in quite a while. But, but you never know, dear. Gotta give it a crack. We'll get a signal here. See how we go. Nothing on the surface at least. It does not look like it. What do you think, Charlie? <coughs> ooh, 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 ooh. There it is. There it is. Two dollars. Another two dollar coin. Lovely. Four dollars. What's that? Uh, two thousand. <laughs> A ninety-nine to two thousand we've got so far. Four dollars fifty in the kitty. All that digging for a piece of piece of wire. Thought I had a coin there. We'll check the hole, but damn it. Nope, just the wire. Bastard. Look at this digging dog, would you? What are you doing, mate? He's naked. We've walked about four and a half k. <laughs> He's ready to go home. Well, giving the kookaburras laughing at me. Finding nothing but chicken wire. <laughs> uh. Four dollars in, almost five bucks in, can't complain. Well, all right, we are four dollars fifty in today's adventure and uh, we're just about ready to pack it up and start heading home. And uh, if I can get back to that park, the first park I went to, but um, yeah, I had someone in it, then we'll hit it. I'm just looking at my beard. Doesn't, the mask doesn't do great for my beard. But uh, yeah, it's, I mean, $4.50 is pretty good. The little tiger digging tool that I've been using is, is really good. So Australian made tools. Um, I'll link their, their Instagram below so you can check it out, their store. And uh, yeah, anything that's Australian made, I'm all in. I think we've walked about 5K, so now we've got to head back. So we might start that, that little walk back home. I thought that was a snake. All right, then you see it in the drain. It's a blue tongue, is it? Just going down. Charlie to get near it. That's a blue tongue wizard. Here it goes down the drain. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys. It's actually been some time since that video. Um, I filmed it just before uh, we were out of our second lockdown in here in Melbourne. So uh, it's been a couple of months. I've actually filmed a lot of videos uh, since then. But uh, yeah, the go the GoFundMe is is. Go, the GoFind 22 is absolutely perfect for uh, that sort of urban style metal detecting if you're just after little uh, little coins here and there but um, I've actually got this will actually be the last video of 2020 it's been a pretty wild year um, yeah Christmas Day was yesterday today's Boxing Day so um, yeah I just want to say a big thanks to uh, to everyone who's watched in 2020 it's been a bit of a wild year I've got a lot of plans for some videos next year uh, I finally brought out the first podcast episode, which is back on the channel. You can find that on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Um, I'm pretty pumped with that. It's going to be a bit of fun. So there'll be uh, there'll be a couple more coming out soon. Um, those those will I'll, I will try and post those weekly. At the minute, obviously, it's pretty hard over the New Year and Christmas break. So um, yeah, everyone enjoy what's left of the 2020, uh, this wonderful year, and uh, 2021. God knows what's going to happen, eh? Enjoy. See you guys on the next adventure.